Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of the new save file. We are jumping in again. We're going to go as another tainted character. We have tainted Judas unlocked and I know how we unlock Tarnished Judas as well. We need to take one angel deal and one devil deal in a single run as tainted Judas. That should not be too difficult, I'd imagine. I'm not sure, but that shouldn't be too bad. Basically, we have to take an angel deal first and then normally later on you get a devil deal. It just depends. It's all chance based. So we might not end up unlocking it this run, but we'll try. By the way, I have been having some weird issues like what you just saw there. Also, Little Heretic is incredible. Like what you just saw there where the, the, the run just takes a really long time to load sometimes. It's very odd. Uh, I'm going to go and... Actually, I, I was just going to use that straight away, but honestly, I don't see any reason to now. Little Heretic is actually awesome. We can apply this effect to uh, enemies... That basically means we deal double damage to them. Also, he just hovers around and deals damage to stuff for us. How did that not hit that poop? It literally landed on top of it. Uh, I'm going to quickly pause and go and grab a question of the day because you guys left a bunch on an episode recently. So thank you all for that. Okay, I grabbed one. Thank you all for leaving those. And the question of the day is, what do you consider your biggest achievement? I think that's an interesting one because people will be at different stages in their life. So their, their biggest achievement is... It's probably going to vary quite wildly from person to person. Honestly, mine's kind of difficult. I have a few ones that I wouldn't really call achievements in themselves, but I kind of consider them achievements. Um, number one being just maintaining a nine-year-long relationship with my girlfriend. It's, it's, I'm very, very happy about the fact that I've managed to do that, and I think um, that's an achievement. I, I know it's not really like, as in like a proper achievement, really, but I don't know. I still... It's still something I'm pr proud of that I've managed to do. Um, it's not something that uh, at the age of 16 I expected would happen when I got a girlfriend. But um, I'm very, very happy about it. Um, in terms of actual achievements, obviously I got a degree in computer science at university. Although I don't really care <laughs> too much about that. I'm glad that I got it. But like in the grand scheme of things, it... I don't know how much it actually mattered. I mean, it kind of got me the job I got now, but they never asked me what grade I got or anything. So I don't actually know how much it mattered. Um, but yeah, that's that's definitely uh, one of them, I think. Um, but I also just think like the success that I've had in the job that I'm into is definitely a big one because that's like, it's... It, it's a job role that I went into not knowing if I was well suited for and honestly feeling rather uncomfortable about starting in because I just didn't really know what I was doing. But I've been in the role now almost three years and I've, I think I've gotten decently good at it and I think that I'm an asset to the to company and the team. Um, so it's, it's kind of a hard one. I am going to go pillar mania here and if I get it. If I get a thingy down, a uh, health down, I'm going to be super sad. Speed up's really no, good. No, okay, no, that was actually fine. Um, and we go down. So yeah, we're going to take an angel deal first and then swap to devil deals after. Um, right, one second. Let me pause here real quick. Right, let's go. We got another uh, lovely little room here, which I'm hoping for at least one soul heart here. It's weird that I can trigger that effect on my little dudes here. Please don't either of these explode. Oh, bugger, but more pills. Yes. Look down. We have a lot of look downs so far. Honestly, let's go straight for our uh, boss. Just because we got the charges right now. We've only got a few because I think a few of them did end up dying to the... Um, did unfortunately end up dying to the, what's it called, uh, spikes. So that was a bit of a shame. But probably should have waited until he fired to, to use that. Be careful for when he does this attack, yeah, because these guys are really problematic. Honestly, the laser that's, uh, that's that's been held between us is doing so much damage and handling all the enemies pretty nicely, to be honest. So uh, I'm not really having to worry all that much about this boss in the slightest, which is very, very nice. Um, where the hell did you come from? <laughs> you just kind of were lacking behind. Um, I'm not going to grab that yet. On the off chance that I get a trinket this floor, that would be super good to um, to leave there. Oh, honestly, Little Heretic is just god tier. He's just so good. But yeah, I'm hoping that I can get a trinket um, somewhere in this floor and I'll be allowed to gulp it via that uh, item. Because honestly, wasting a gulp, a potential gulp and not having a trinket just feels blasphemous. 
Uh, something else I just want to quickly note as well, I've been speaking a lot over the past few weeks, mainly about a week ago, the Darkest Dungeon series that's starting on my channel. That is actually starting this week, maybe even the day after this video goes out. It'll be... It'll be within this week, guaranteed, though. So please, all of you that are interested in that series, take a little look and check it out. And those of you that aren't, just try it anyways. You might like it. Uh, damage is reduced by 0 0.6 each floor until the bell is nullified. Okay, that's pretty good. So we get good damage now, but it is going to slowly deteriorate over time. I can handle that. I'm also going to grab this and see what we get. Hey, we got a key back. There you go. Goddamn Dark Judas is just... A character that's just so fun in the early game because of how crazy powerful he is. But yeah, that damage boost, although it is going to uh, degrade over time, the hope is we get enough things in between, enough damage upgrades in between those floors before it fully degrades, that by the time it's fully gone, we don't notice it's gone. That's, that's kind of the hope. I'm very glad I came back this way. Very glad indeed I came back this way. Good, good, good. We get a death card, which I don't care about so much. We get the monster manual, um, and then we also get something new. Um, regurgitation book. Gain Ipecac for the room. Using the book, will uh, again, will give you multi-shot after four activations. That's actually pretty good. I think I'll take that. I think I'll take that. Um, for one room, we get Ipecac. Because the thing is, that's better than just being able to use it for... Um, I think it's a secret room. That's better than just being able to use it for... Wait a minute. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Like, it can be used for multiple things is what I'm trying to say. It, we, can we can blow stuff up with it. It's not just for killing enemies. Um, anyways, let's get ourselves gone down to the next floor. And I guess we just take this. Unfortunately, we don't get its lovely goodness of the gulp. But we do get a pretty fly out of it, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, again, we're not going to go alt path here. I know that there's a lot to do in alt path, but we can get more completion marks this way. And also, we can guarantee, or more so guarantee the unlock of uh, the next character, which I'd, I'd very much like to do. Is that a tainted dude? What the hell? Or is he just a new enemy? He might, might just be a new enemy. Blood bank there. So, oh god. Oh, bugger. These enemies are really annoying because they move a lot, which means the, the like, electricity thing, the beam between us, does exactly what it just did there. Fucking god. It just drags the enemy directly towards me. That's just some bullshit right there. That's horrible, game. That is horrible. Oh, what the hell hit me then? Okay, I need to be more careful with my HP here. I have lost a significant amount of HP already. It's okay. Oh, talk sick. Shock is amazing. Holy damn, that's good. Holy damn, that's good. Very, very, very happy to see that. But yeah, it's going to be starting very, very shortly this week. Uh, I highly recommend people check it out. It's a series that I'm really passionate about. I really want it to do well on the channel. I think people should give it a go. And any of you that are interested in writing um, or, or your storytellers or you, you consider yourself... Oh my god. I consider myself a fucking idiot. How did I get hit by that? That was so obvious that that was going to happen. God damn moron is what I am. Just, if you think bad shit's going to go down, use dark arts. God damn it. Yeah, uh, anyways, enough of me yelling. Um, yeah, if you're just a creative person, I definitely recommend giving it a go. Anyone's welcome to try it. I'm using all my bombs here, but really? Really? Oh, the fuck? Why? Why am I like this? What's wrong with me? This has all gone so poorly. Hematemesis. I, I literally have to take the rosary, right? Yeah, I have to take the Rosary. I'm hoping Rosary doesn't lock us into Angel. I don't think it does. Um, damn it, I should have sh saved my uh, Ipecac for here. I don't know what the Foiled Hangman does. Uh, I used it thinking maybe it'd help, but it didn't. Anyways, right, let's beeline it down. Uh, we could go back to that Kershaw River there that I missed. That was kind of me being stupid, really. I should have just gone in there straight away. But 
let's just go. So now we're looking for an actual devil deal, but the thing is we have to spend HP on a devil deal. And our HP is very, very low right now, so... Right now that isn't super viable. So we gotta do better. Right now we have to do better. Because I am shitting the bed, as it were. I'm just gonna quickly uh, check this out. That's not secret room either. That is. See, that's why it's useful. Glass D4, though. I ain't about that life. No, thank you. Yeah, Toxic Shock is a huge get for us, though. That is that is an item that I love. Range up isn't super influential, but we did have pretty low range. That's so nice. Oh, wait. Hanged Man... The, the Hanged Man card gave us uh, flight for this floor as well. I see what it does now. It gives, it gives you a floor... Um, flight for multiple rooms, I think. Because I've still got flight now. Didn't think about that, but that's pretty nice to have. It is kind of weird going between, um... Going between having a Becca and not, but one thing I just realised there, if I pop it, if I pop the book quick enough, um... My uh, damage from Toxic Shock is actually applied from Ipecac, which means it kills way faster. This guy is up chucking too much. Just too much. Help. And there's the health down. So even if we get a deal with the devil right now, we literally can't take it. So that is a big fat slap in the ball sack. Um, let's try and remedy that. I'd like to go to my shop as well to see if I can get anything from there before we, before we bounce. Very, very annoying. <laughs> it's just the way in which it is sometimes, though, isn't it? But, oh, God, we are killing stuff at speed. Got you. And you. Where's our shop at? God damn it. Okay, I did find a, I did find a tinted rock, though. Ugh. God, this game is savage to you sometimes. I was talking to someone in my Discord recently about, like balance of this game and it, it was the the age-old argument of deal deal with the devils aren't good enough get rid of the bad items in the pool and i was just trying to argue with them that like unfortunately i just walked directly into that guy god fucking damn it i thought i had my dark arts ready i didn't god damn it Oh, this game is savage to me right now. Please stop. Um, and yeah, th that age of argument of like, oh, Brother Bobby shouldn't be in the uh, Devil Do Deal pool and stuff like this. And I'll be honest, I, I really hate that argument. Um, anytime anyone wants to balance the Devil Deal, they're like, oh, just remove the bad items. It's like, no, that's not what roguelikes are about. Kind of the whole point of a roguelike is you've got to deal with bad luck sometimes. And then some people are like, oh, but I earn a Devil Deal. I should, I should be rewarded. No. No. Life isn't sunshine and roses. Sometimes you do the right thing and you still don't get the reward. <laughs> that's life. <laughs> but anyways, more so to the point. That's what roguelikes are like. All pools need to have bad items. Removing bad items isn't a way to fix devil deals. Um, and um, basically, it was just kind of one of those things where it's like, I feel like that's one of the opinions that people have when they're of lower skill. And they admitted that. It wasn't, I wasn't trying to diss the person by saying that. But it's one of those things that you kind of feel like the game treats you unfairly. But this game is full of fuck yous. Absolutely chock full of them. And of fucking course we got a devil deal. I mean, we did get enough HP to take one. So I am going to take one. But this is pretty horrible. Um, just make sure we don't get hit by one of these first. First of all, let's, yes, try and get some actual HP out of this. Ooh, black powder, thank you. I don't know what the, the gross humbling bundle actually does. Don't. You fucker. Ah, that's not what you telegraphed at all, you bitch. Like, the lamb seems good, but dangerous. Okay, this guy's telegraphs are all sorts of fucks. Um, I'll take the left hand. I might as well take this as well. 
can be on conception. Nice. Not what I was expecting to happen there. Familiar that charges, uh, Ipecac shot, no thank you. And then, yeah, I don't really know what this is. Um, it's Rotten Humbling Bundle. So, I think I just unlocked Tarnished Judas. Ja Tarnished Judas, but I think it was covered by the, um, by the other unlock there. I'm hoping at least, I think. Uh, right. Do I want the Devil's Key piece? Yes. It's a bit risky, but yes, I do. Right. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Excel floor here. We just need to be very careful with our HP, which honestly I've not been doing a, a mighty great job of right now, so... Not the best idea from me, but hey her. There's some more range up, lovely. This is most certainly a secret room. Or not, wow, okay. Surprising to me, surprising to me. But anyways, that, that worked out better than I would have expected. We got a very good Devil Deal layout to be helpful there. We'll have to see what this humbling bundle thing does, because I really don't know. It doesn't seem to act like regular humbling bundle at all, so I'm just not really sure. Toxic shock is the best. Lovely. We did manage to make a black powder circle there. I'm going to make another one here. I was just say, how did that not count? I always forget that you can do that. We destroyed one of the uh, shopkeepers there by exiting Dark Hearts next to it. I kind of forgot that was a thing. Beautiful. Another sack there for us. Oh, money is looking very good right now. Should uh, try and head our way to a shop. I see that there. Uh, sick friends we don't really care about right now. Oh, actually. And no. Uh, is this just familiar's poison things? Curse pennies can drop on room clear higher chance. Higher replacement chance. Okay, no thanks. Um, I just want to see if this applies poison to my little buddy here. Well, actually, right now we don't actually know for sure. Right, hold up. Okay. I'm going to need things that don't instantly die, which is a strange request, I know. Okay, no, it doesn't make any difference with this guy. He's not poisoning anything. I was going to say, if he, if he poisons stuff, it might be something that we could work with, but he doesn't, so. Why bother? Why bother? Why would I bother with you? Give me that back, give me that back, give me that back, back. But yeah, the other day, uh, this will have come out a few days ago for you guys. Maybe yesterday, day before. I don't know. I don't know how much of a backlog I have right now. Um, I did an episode, a, a mega recording episode, and actually released the longest video I've ever recorded onto the channel. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen it or don't watch Into the Gungeon, but episode 100, me and Never Named sat down and recorded for six hours straight. We played every single character back to back. It was really fun. It was intense. I had to have quite a large rest after that, but we did it, um, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. So if you guys like Enter the Gungeon or just like listening to sort of podcast-style banter, that's basically all that was. So hopefully you enjoy. Pretty fly. Pretty fly. This is this is an XL floor, isn't it? Yeah. So we've not seen either of our item rooms yet. Is that another pretty fly. Wow. Okay. All the pretty flies. I like that. Oh god. Two hands spawned. Uh, I'm going to say, create some rings if we can. Didn't really work for killing them, but there you go. There's one item room. Good. Um, Book of Genesis is another book. We've also got the brownie... Um, Friendly calm minds and leave a spreadical trailer slippy. Okay, isn't that the slippy creep that we can also slip on, if I remember correctly? Grants a black heart on use, damage taken is doubled. I'm going to try that out. That seems really risky, but 
it three room charge for a black heart i realize will be taking double damage so later on it'll be terrible but for now it seems like it'd be pretty good right like once once we're in the womb it seems like it could be disastrous but for right now it seems like it could be a really good grab Yeah, let's be careful here. Don't know how I managed to avoid that there. That was that was quite something, I'll be honest. Alright, wait for that. In fact, I'm not gonna wait. I'm just gonna grab it like that and then go boom bow. Just some flies. Nothing of importance really. Honestly, Dark Hearts is doing its thing and just destroying everything that ever existed so far, so very happy with that. The Heretic is doing its thing too. Try and use the uh, little laser that connects us two to deal some extra damage. Any some, Anything we can get to increase our amount of active charges is going to be very, very good with the setup, so that's what I'm hoping for. Nice. I'll just buy a soul heart, why not? And then let's do some donating, shall we? I don't think Cyberbum increases our charges at all, unfortunately. We did gem out the machine there, but that's cool. We're looking for one more item room here. Yeah, so far we've gained a lot of HP. In fact, it might be a good idea to clear out as much of this floor as I possibly can and then drop the book and return back to our other book. Like, oh bugger. I was just about to say, if we can just take, like, no damage. Is this room finished? Yes, I guess. If we can just take, like, as little damage as we possibly can, gain as much HP as possible, and then just leave it. Like, then we don't take the double damage, and we got a ton of HP out of it. I think that's honestly what I'm going to do. Um, we'll see what our other item ends up being first. It might be another active that we want to trade before we end up swapping it back. We, this does mean we want to be doing every room we possibly can. Extra bomb. Especially the larger rooms. Head back over this way. Grab a little penny penny. Do not enjoy these enemies at all. I can't remember what they do. Okay, they do that. And we get our other item room here. And it is another um, active. Unfortunately, it's not one that I want. Let's take the experimental. Range up, look down. So little luck, but hey her. Yeah, because we because we'll be going to the womb next floor here. Let's go grab our other active, and then we might be able to make a boss rush. We do have to kill two bosses in a very short amount of time here. But I reckon it's plausible. And also we're going to have Ipecac for the duration of Boss Rush. Right. Let's go do Dark Arts. It's a slightly annoying boss, but we can drop a few bombs on him. Wow, that's a good few cards right there. Drop a Death at Why Not. Necronomicon, lovely. Can't believe it's only the fourth time using that, but there you go. Drop that on him as well, because why not? I managed to land him directly, directly in that, which was very, very nice. Good, good. Okay, it wasn't too bad, and then we got about a minute to kill the next boss. Salsa's decent. Gives us a random stat up, and this time it gave us fire rate. This isn't going to be hard, but it isn't going to be easy. I could use Ipecac if things get close to the line, but I honestly think I'm going to be fine. Oh, I actually managed to activate Midas' touch there. I was not expecting to be able to do that. Okay, I can actually use Midas' touch fairly effectively here.
actually to end my uh, active on an enemy without killing them, of course. Didn't quite work there for some reason. Right, let's just stay close. There you go. We took some damage, but it's fine. We got Eternal Heart out of that. We do get the negative here as well. Lovely. And then Boss Rush, Glaucoma, no. Um, yeah, the Glaucoma's not good. Might is decent. I'd like some health. You know, Linger Bean's terrible. Siren's Call is actually pretty good um, because it's going to help us out for this room. We only got Distant Admiration to start with here, but... Overall, that will help. Why do I always get the bicycle bitch to start? Fuck this boss. Get some friends. It just has such BS attacks. Good, he's gone. Oh, and then I get this guy. Game. Are you kidding me with this? Okay, we got hit again, but we get another familiar for doing that, so... Don't worry too much. I don't know what the Jawbone's doing right now, I'll be honest. It seems to be on a little wild trip of its, of its very own. Thank you for the Distant Admiration. Ah, oh, I should use my Strength card as well. I don't, I don't know why I haven't used that yet. I do get 2020 now because of um, popping the book a second time. I'm only going to pop it twice. I don't think any more than two really matters. And it said it said that I use a guppy's, uh, not guppy's, uh, Tammy's head style attack if I use it too many times as well. I don't want to risk that. That could easily damage me. I think we've pretty much got this. We do have insane tier height right now. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Uh, Ipecac arcs are, uh, are pretty crazy. Good, good. And there's another soul heart. Lovely. Wow, I managed to kill that boss literally instantly. There is a few like that, though. Oh, God, I walked in some creep there. But we got Sissy for it, though. Nice. Oh, how did that not hit? See what I mean? The arc is just so crazy. And we got Leech this time. See what I mean? Just stacking familiars. Oh, we got a black heart there as well. Lovely. Don't know where that came from. That might be because of our uh, red key that we've got going on here. That has a 2% chance for hearts to be black hearts. Same as the angel key for eternal, but for black arts. Pretty good. Yeah, we're killing stuff real fast here. Look at the jawbone. Just doing its best to help when it's literally not being useful at all. I apologize, jawbone. You are trying, at least, but I'll be honest. It's not all that useful. How am I not hitting this guy? There you go, finally. We got Bat Boy, who's a little bit harder to hit, but doesn't have a lot of health. Another solid hit will get him. He did manage to do a jumping attack there, but he is dead now. We got Blurty. It's Ipecac Blurt as well, so it's Ipecac v Ipecac. But I was. Unequivocally wins that fight. I love the fact that with this champion, every segment spawns a coin. Just a nice touch. Off screen indicator is helping us out a ton there, finding where the hell this guy had gone. I like the way that Ipecac plus Toxic Shock is like such an interesting combo. Because whenever we kill an enemy, we then leave Poison Creep on the floor for them to take more damage in. Kind of a nice combo that's very like on theme, but also very strong. 
Like, you see these green creepy leaves. Obviously, for bosses, it doesn't really matter that much. But in general, it's a pretty strong combo. Leech doing his business there. Three more waves. Nope, no more waves. Wow, that was quick. Um, explosive enemies die on their own. Um, explosive enemies have their weakness effect. Have the weakness effect. I thought it said their weakness effect. The weakness effect. That's good. Right. Down we go. Hopefully we get another devil deal here so we can grab another devil key. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, and then from then on, we're pretty set in stone. Just remember that we no longer have Ipecac. That isn't something that, that's a, a permanent fixture for us. Ow. E, the adult transformation, there you go. Gives us some extra HP. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I've gotta get used to not having Ipecac all the time. Honestly, we might be able to do Hush this run. That was a bad hit. Um, just because of the Ipecac situation, so. Oh god, I do not like all the drippy drippies. What? Where's the last enemy, for fuck's sake? Not having mapping here is a big suck. I do not like not having mapping. Just what it is though. Ooh, a double black heart drop, lovely. That puts us in the money. Don't care too much about any of that. Tree boss, oh bugger. I'm taking a bit too much dumb damage here, but this is why I didn't want to take that damn book with us. If we'd have taken that damn book, we'd have really been in the shithouse. We'd have been taking double damage on all of these hits. Oh god, he can destroy rocks. I was like, let's hide behind the rock. And he just fucking plows right through it. I should have known. Nice, and there's the devil deal. That's good. That's nice. Void bombs is kind of good, but that is pretty costly. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to take either of those, because I do have to pay for the key here, so... Holy shit. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that, but I'm very glad that I did. That's what high speed gets you, I guess. Okay, good, good. Right, we've got both of our key pieces. We can actually go and do Mega Satan in this run if we so feel. Um, of course, Hush is first up, and we'll see if we can actually manage that. We're definitely going to make Hush on time. That's pretty much a no doubt. Oh god, oh god, oh god. So many of them hatched at the same time there. My, uh, my buddy, my heretic, should take out most of these guys, though. Along with Toxic Shock, all the, uh, extra poison on the floor will help. That's always a risk on these later floors, but I, I always love doing it. It's one of those things that makes people mad to see you do, so I always try to do it. Ooh, also, question. Do we wanna do we wanna stick with a left hand going down to uh, the hush fight? Maybe. I don't know for sure, but maybe. Cause the red chest could give us HP or even like guppy items or whatnot. But also, the golden chest can give you really good stuff. But they are only regular golden chests. So. And also, we don't currently have the amount of keys required to open them all. So, it might be more beneficial to us to just leave them as red chests. I'm hoping this is the right way. Normally, if you have to cut through a big room, you're onto a winner with what direction to be going. At least somewhat. Adjustment. That should give us keys. Okay, so now I'm a little torn. I have all the keys required, so now either option would work. Yeah, this was the right way. Nice one. 
Don't use Ipecac here. We want to save it for the uh, for the hush fight. And unless there's a charge in the shop, we're out of charges. So. Dark Arts will be pretty decent here. Wait until she starts doing an attack that pumps out a lot of tears. This one's not great for it, to be honest. We want one where there's a lot of tears on screen. Like this. Try and grab as many of the tears as we can. And get a okay-ish damage boost. They don't last the damage boosts don't last a ton of time, but pretty beneficial, sir. There you go. Nice one. Key knife. Unlocked. Oh, that's one of the Repentance Plus unlocks. Awesome. We're starting to get some of those now. Right. Down to Hush we go. I did decide to stick with the left hand just because I'd rather potentially get some guppy items. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything. No, 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 not again. Bit of a bugger. Um, toy piano. That's probably pretty good. And then... Oh, that's... I don't know. That's kind of a tricky one. Like, we've not got great fire rate, so that's not amazing. But it is a good item. Let's take it. Let's take it. I don't know how this will end up affecting um, Ipecac. It might make Ipecac a little less good. <gasps> Roll space. Lovely. Pretty early find there. And we do get pinking shears. I don't know. Pinking shears seems like it could be better. It depends how much that fire rate gets lowered with Ipecac here, because that could be devastating. <gasps> Beautiful item. Some decent stuff there, I think. Probably should have bought the charge, fella. Um... I'm going to blow up my donation machine to get some money here. I'm going to blow up my donation machine to get some money here. Okay. I guess not. I guess not. Right, let's take this. Let's take the card too. That is High Priestess. Not super good, but okay. I'm going to gamble. I'm going to gamble. I'm going to use this. Oh, balls. Yeah, that was terrible. That was a really bad idea. Trying to make a big old circle here, but it's really not working for some reason. Also, Hush Phase 1 is way harder now. Fuck. Oh my god, this fire rate is abysmal. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> I have fucked up so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> I like Nugget, but I I thought I was like I was like, eh, this mod has a lot of synergies. I thought maybe there's a synergy with Ipecac to make it not as devastating. Sadly, that is not the truth. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hit just the right location to get the Ipecac explosion to hit and the Nugget explosion to hit at the same time. Which is honestly a fine line. Oh damn! I think we, I think our little, um, our little heretic is applying doom, which is pretty insane. In fact, if that's the case, heretic, would you mind latching onto the boss, please? He's just, he just cares about the flies. Doesn't care about the boss at all. Ow. 
speed down. That, that was just to get the doom back on him. Get my little little heretic sitting inside him. It's a sentence I didn't think I'd be saying, but there you go. I have now. 0.44 fire rate. This is painful. Even the Mega Satan fight is going to be rough with this setup. Ow. Oh god. Some of the shots are slower than others aren't. I do not like that. Why do you keep going under the ground, you fuck? Such a cowardly move. Bollocks. I keep hitting myself so much. I've got Isaac's heart now. That's something that I definitely wanted. Thanks for that. Siren's call. It's definitely the sort of thing we were looking for here. The damage we're doing is pretty impressive, but... I'm just not even moving. Don't move away underground, you shit house. You. Oh! Just get out the fucking floor, you useless piece of twat. God, why design a boss this way? Just done. If you're ever making a game, any of you out there, if you're like. Hmm, should I have an invulnerability phase? No. No, you should not. <laughs> they are dog shit. Invulnerability phases are just ways to make you wait around for no real reason. Last D6. I don't know why we got two of those, but I'll take them. Right, don't use our active again, because that's disastrous. I do think we're going to have significant issues. Uh, excuse me. We also somehow managed to get a webbed heart, despite the fact that we don't have those unlocked. Interesting. I think our range is too high. I think Nugget has ruined everything. I think Nugget is the cause for all the pain in the world. I will say, Nugget does let us skip rooms, which I'm grateful of. There was a black heart in there. Buggy, bugger. I think I said bugger, but I said just said bugging. Bugger, get out the floor. Coward, get out of the floor. Coward. I don't even know where he is anymore. There you go. Get out of the damn floor, you coward. It's not okay. I'm not quite sure what these little little holes are with these minions coming out of it. They seem to be able to connect into a much greater minion than previously existed. Interesting. If you're wondering why I'm not picking up keys, it's just because... I'm unlikely to need more than seven on the next floor. I have very low looks. So I'm not going to be getting a lot of chest drops. Right. Oh my god, I'm stressing. Okay, 
This is going decently. I need to stop actually hitting him though and just hit near him. Actually hitting him is ruining my DPS. This bit's going to be a bit tough. Basically just create as many of those circles as we possibly can. And don't walk directly into the stone. Dude, why was that foot so slow to land? That's just cruel. Ceremonial blade unlocked. Lovely. Good, good, good. That's opened. Well, these all cost too much for one. <laughs> I don't think any of them are really winners, so let's d6 them all. Okay, they did not turn into Devil Delightens, which I was expecting. This was horrendous. <laughs> this was awful. I really thought that they would change into other Devil Delightens. That is not what's happened. Things have gone awry. I'm going to take you, just because I think you are actually pretty good. You could save me. Did not mean to kill that Key Beggar there. Not that I was going to use them anyways, I'll be honest. I hate this boss. I, I really can't even with this boss. That, that attack right there, I always confuse it with his other attack and it, it hits me every time. I don't think we'll be doing Mega Certain in any way, shape or form. We did manage to get Psyfly for this room, but... Oh good, Brimstone Ghosts to end off the fight. Just what I wanted to see. What's with all the fucking hematemesis pills? Go away. Where's my balls of steel? That is 100% a no-go. Actually, I say it's a no-go. It's not really. I could just dark arts all the way over there. But then again, if it's a bat, if it's like a troll bomb, I get fucking screwed in the ass. So maybe not. Really? You give me this bitch. Fun boss design. Really professionally curated. Just fantastically made. I applaud thee for such talent and skill. I mean, I will say the sprites are pretty awesome, but goddamn the boss design. Not a fan. The sprite work, though, is pretty dope. But the boss himself, he can go screw off. I have to say, Little Brim may have been a bad decision. Damn. This went so poorly so quickly. It, Nugget has honestly ruined us. Absolutely ruined us. It was all going so well until Nugget came along. This guy's a nutbag too. Dude, it pushed me into the fire. How did you manage to do that? And this guy's got homing, so I'm basically dead. I'm not dead. I've got an eternal heart though. Oh God. It was just the calm before the storm. Now we deal with the real bitch. A very small room for this type of boss. I do not like it. And he's not doing the damn attack that lets me actually hit him either, which doesn't bloody help. Stick your tail up again. Who in their right mind would design a boss like this and say, yes, this is fun for the player. Having them sit around and do nothing for minutes on end. Ah yes, with my powerful build, I like to be held up arbitrarily by a boss that I can kill easily. 
Such fun, such fun. Oh, can we not get to these? That's bullshit. Really? Damn it, not a single one of them. Not a single soul heart. Oh god. That's a lot of herming, boys. Oh, you again? Fuck off! <laughs> I ain't ready for this. He still got me with the fucking lasers, god damn it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That was a hell of a fucking end to that run. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.